to serve a purpose, right? So like any transducer, driver, everything pushes out, comes back in, pushes out, comes back in. So you have sound that comes out and then goes back as well. So in a, a traditional box speaker, the sound that radiates back goes in a cabinet and creates what? Distortion. Distortion. Yeah. So these taper tubes help diffuse that, right? If you can imagine if you blew, like if you blew, like a horn, if you blew on the small side into the large, it would amplify. The exact opposite happens when you do it from the large side to the small side. So with the bass driver though, in order to diffuse down to 15 hertz, we'd have to make this 13 feet, eight inches long, which won't fit in most people's arms. So, so naturally, Lawrence Dickey, the gentleman who designed these, is sitting having a spot of tea one day, it just rained in England, downtown London. He saw a little conch, like a little snail, kind of scurrying around his patio, and he was like, oh, hey, that's what I can do. I can take that paper tube and just curl it like this, and hence, this is the Nautilus, right? So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna play you something that's pretty cool, it's very spatial. Um, it's gonna sound like we have surround sound in here, which is the whole purpose of the Nautilus, right? Their ability to disappear, I've yet to hear a speaker that can do it quite as good as these because there's no diffraction, right? So you literally have drivers in space. Uh, everything's rounded, so you don't have this like happening every time you listen to any note, right? It's, it's literally just, it's, you have direct radiation of sound. At all times, which is fantastic. This is from this is a track from from a woman named Francine Thirteen. It's called Queen Mary. This is going to be a digital like hi hat that starts off in the right channel and it pans over to the left channel, but it doesn't just pan horizontally like this. There's actually it's very conical, like the Nautilus. You're going to hear this hi hat transition like this like over the course of the entire track. And then there's like a tornado thing that happens and you're gonna hear stuff whooshing oh. around you. It's really, really cool. You guys ready? Yeah.
this, this is the reality of a trade show, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it, it's interesting because like every time you find out like a demo cut, you try to do some research on the artist. And this woman here, Francine Thirteen, <laughs> I looked it up. I'm not sure if you were there for that, Carol, but I looked it up and says uh, the, the only thing that I could find was like Francine Thirteen flew down from Venus <laughs> and like has a, decided to live in uh, the Earth or something like that. I was like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll stop, I'll stop. That explains it. Explains everything. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yes, now I understand. All right, so last tr last track. This is an. I won't say it's an oldie, but it's, a, it's something I've used a lot, and I absolutely love it. So I'm a huge fan, obviously, of music, but I'm a huge fan of film. When it comes to film, I love scores, right? And when it comes to scores, I love Hans Zimmer, right? Zimmer's the best. He's, he's, one, he's one of the, he's iconic, just like these loudspeakers. He uses our stuff all the time. Him and Robert Sonnenson, it's, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. But uh, this particular track is an interesting one. It's going to be tough to kind of really gauge it because of everything going on in the other room but um it's called time from inception right so i'm gonna play the entirety of the cut it's about four or five minutes long right but it's worth it right so the way i like to pitch it is when he was actually uh doing this track uh in the studio you know they start off literally there there is probably like a 32 to 50 piece orchestra but when it starts off it's literally like the internal section is what's playing Right, and you, you're going to hear that, right? But as the song progresses, as the score pro progresses, you're going to hear all the other instruments start to come in, right? So you're going to hear that sound stage just go wide, 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 even wider. And then at some point, it's almost like, oh, we ran out of room on the stage, so now it starts to wrap like around you. Mm -hmm. So by the end of the track, you're going to have this like 360 degrees of like envelopment, and it's absolutely spectacular. So I hope you appreciate it. It's really good. 